Okay guys, so here we have a program to accept the temperature in degrees Celsius and to display suitable messages as shown below. Where if the temperature is below 0, you display freezing weather. Between 0 and 10, you display very cold weather. 10 and 20, you display cold weather. 20 to 30 is normal temperature. 30 to 40, it's hot. Anything greater than or equal to 40, it's very hot. So we have a normal uh, structure of temperature ranges given here and where we have certain text to display. So we've already completed similar programs like the quadratic equation and the electricity bill. So in such cases, obviously you will be using your ELSIF ladder to print out the outputs. Now you can use your ELSIF ladder two ways. Let's say I have already taken my input for the temperature and you can start by writing if temperature less than zero you can go ahead and print f freezing weather now you can write else if, if the temperature is not less than 0, you can check if it is between 0 and 10. So, temperature is greater than or equal to 0 and temperature strictly less than 10. So, in this range, you have to print very cold weather. So, print f very cold weather. You can also do this or the other format is if it is less than zero. Imagine you have a temperature that is let's say 15 uh, sorry not 15 uh, let's say uh, not 10 degree also I have to have something between 0 to 10 let's say 9 degree Celsius. So it checks for the first condition where temperature is less than zero, it is false. So it goes to the next condition and checks. What if I replace the entire thing with just temperature less than zero? I'm not going to check if temperature is greater than or equal to zero and it is less than 10. So I'll just check for nine degrees Celsius. If it is less than zero, it will execute this freezing weather, but it is not less than zero. Therefore, the next condition that it will check is if it is less than 10 yes and it will print very cold weather you could have joined two conditions where it is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 10 or you can just go ahead and write temperature less than 10 is very cold weather now you will ask that um, any temperature like uh, minus 9 or something could have also triggered this very cold weather when it is supposed to trigger freezing weather. But you should realize that the temperature less than 0 comes before the temperature less than 10. So it would first meet with temperature less than 0. If minus degree 9 degree Celsius satisfies this condition, it will print freezing weather and then it will come out of the uh, set of statements that you have for writing mm, the temperature. Now, if it was between 0 and 10, let's say 9 degrees Celsius, I'll get rid of the minus. If it was 9 degrees Celsius, the first statement would have not satisfied. It would have become false. And then it meets the next statement where temperature is less than 10, 10 and it go ahead, goes ahead and prints it. So you can shorten it easily. All these times when you were joining it together using a uh, logical AND operation, you could have actually done it like this, but do check if the program actually works in this way and then you can continue. You can, you could have done in this method also for the electricity bill program. It's the same thing. Now temperature is less than 10, very cold weather, we'll go in this uh, manner. So the 10 to 20 is cold weather. So I'll just write it as if temperature less than 20, print F cold weather
नेक्स्ट टेम्परेचर ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी इज नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर सो एल्ज इफ टेम्परेचर लेस दैन थर्टी प्रिंट एफ नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर आई राइट शॉर्ट टेम्प ओवर हियर वेन आई एम कोडिंग आई राइट इट फुली नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम थर्टी टू फोर्टी इट्स हॉट सो एल्ज इफ टेम्परेचर लेस दैन फोर्टी यू कैन प्रिंट एफ इट्स हॉट and then comes temperature greater than equal to 40 you can leave it as just else print f it's very hot this way also it will work it will also work if you wrote the condition temperature greater than equal to 40 the remaining else after that is not mandatory so it's a very simple else if ladder program that will help us to take what is the conditions which is mentioned here and print it so it's a very simple one i just brought this program here so that you can understand that the conditions which you joined using logical and operation you can also shorten it in this form when you have comparison it will work even if you wrote temperature is greater than equal to 20 and and temperature less than 30 or if you simply wrote temperature less than 30 So this is just another way to shorten your else if ladder to make it a little more compact, easy to code, takes less time to code as well as achieves the same result. Now let's check this in the uh, code. I've written the uh, conditions on top so that I don't miss out anything. You can start with float temperature. You can also write int temperature, but you should consider that temperature can be written in a, a decimal point format as well. so i will be asking my user to strictly enter the temperature in celsius because someone else who is running your program should not enter a temperature in another format of fahrenheit and then it shows a very different value so scan if percentage f and ampere sand temp then we can start with a program so if temp is less than 0 you have print of statement slash in uh, very cold weather no sorry it was supposed to be freezing weather so freezing weather and i'll just be copying this i'll write else if else if temperature less than 10 it should be printing very cold weather now else if temperature less than 20 it should print cold weather print f cold weather as if the temperature is less than 30 this is for the 20 to 30 range so it should print normal temperature normal temperature then comes else if temperature is less than 40 it should print f it's hot so it's hot and else if you can just leave it as else or if you want to write you can also write it as else if temperature is greater than equal to 40 your print f should have been print f slash in it's very hot very hot Okay, and else uh, is not necessary. Mm. 
I think it's all fine. So you can run the program. Uh, let's check for each and every value. So temperature is less than 0 can be minus 10. It prints freezing weather. Uh, temperature can be between 0 and 10. 9 can be very cold weather. So it's not approaching the first. So let's say uh, I want to print even if you want randomly to see if it's working. Let's say temperature which is less between 30 and 40. 35 you according to you might have a doubt you know what if it prints any random value but no it will print it's hot because it actually comes from the beginning and it checks each condition by condition from the top to the bottom and anything that is greater than 40 like 49 and it's going to print it's very hot this is a normal if else statement where instead of using a logical and operator like i use every time or like or like it comes as an instinct Instead of that, I have just used one single condition because it's going in an order from uh, top to bottom. Thank you.